how to make the family calendar work. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. A new school year is a chance for a new start. This will be the year that everything's organized, right? This will be the year when we're all on the same page about events. Mom and dad will always know what events the kids have, right? We're going to have a family calendar and we're going to put all of our events on it, right? And that family calendar is going to live on the refrigerator door. After all, that's the treasured place in many households. But there's one problem with the calendar on the refrigerator. You can't take it with you. So when the band director announces a new rehearsal date, wouldn't we agree it needs to go on the calendar? But you can't put it on the calendar unless you have the refrigerator at hand. So poor Eric, the seventh grade trumpet player, has now inherited the job of remembering to write that event on the refrigerator calendar when he gets home. Maybe he'll remember. Maybe he won't. And if he doesn't, he'll be in trouble again, just like last year. So much for this year being different. Well, in Get Organized Digitally, we devote an entire chapter to calendar management and how it's changed our digital age. Hint, it's easier than the paper calendar days for those who have a good strategy. So I want to introduce you to the Baileys, a family in the book. You'll meet educators Maria and William Bailey and their three children, Eric, 13, Cindy, 7, and Bobby, who just turned 2. William and Maria always thought of themselves as organized people, but things were falling through the cracks. Both William and Maria lived by their paper planners. A calendar on the refrigerator held appointments for each family member, at least in theory. But in practice, appointments were scattered all over several calendars, a school-issued assignment book, and random papers relegated to the bottom of book bags. Details for appointments were trapped in emails, and on the weekend, William and Maria would compare planners and look through book bags for their two older children in an attempt to organize the week ahead. Well, today we're going to solve the calendar problem for the Bailey family, not with a refrigerator, but with shared Google calendars. William and Maria both have Google accounts. Therefore, they also have Google calendars. They started brainstorming their family needs. Appointments happening during the workday would not need to be shared with each other. You see, appointments related to parent conferences or teacher observations that the other was conducting would only serve to clutter the spouse's calendar. But the critical items to share with each other were those after-school evening and weekend appointments. So, William and Maria decided the default calendar for each would be their work calendars. Each then created a calendar in the left sidebar of their respective calendars, and they named those calendars William Personal and Maria Personal. Each clicked the three dots beside the calendar name to select settings and sharings for the calendar. And under share with specific people, each added the other and granted rights to make changes to events. With sharing in place, William could look at his Google Calendar and see three distinct calendars. He would see his work calendar, he would see his personal calendar, and he would see Maria's personal calendar, all three in different colors. See, things were already looking better. Now, Maria liked to plan surprises, and she worried how she would keep the plans for William's surprise party from him now that they were sharing calendars. Maria noticed when she clicked an appointment she could click a drop-down labeled Default Visibility and change it to Private. Now only she could see it. William and Maria looked back at their paper planners and realized that they often entered events for information only. You see, they lived in a college town, and traffic was always heavy on Saturdays in the fall when the football team was at home. Cultural events were also plentiful in the town. Well, Maria went into Google Calendar and she added one more. She called this calendar FYI and chose a bright yellow for its color. She shared the calendar with William and they pulled the various flyers off the refrigerator door and started entering events of interest into this FYI calendar. 
One click on any event opened it and allowed the couple to enter details and an address for the event. So now they could not only see their real calendars and the calendar for each other, but they could see a calendar that gave them various options about things that they could take advantage of. And they could turn any calendar on or off with one click of a mouse. Now let's talk about the Bailey children for a second. Those three children kept the Bailey bus busy, keeping up with soccer practice and band events for Eric, soccer and dance for Cindy, and medical appointments for all three children was a never-ending struggle. Well, Eric had gotten a phone for his birthday, so William and Maria decided it was time to put that phone to work. Eric already had a Google account. Therefore, he already had a Google Calendar, whether he used it or not. Well, the couple showed Eric how to share that calendar with each of them and give them rights to add to his calendar. One of the family struggles had been getting Eric to write his events on that refrigerator calendar. He would forget. And remember, he couldn't take the refrigerator with him. So even when he remembered to write events down, mom and dad would forget to look at the refrigerator themselves. And when you're a busy school administrator, it's embarrassing to get a call from the soccer coach to tell you that everyone has been picked up from practice except your child. Eric quickly adopted the habit of adding appointments to his calendar. And like magic, they appeared for both William and Maria in a bright green color, Eric's color of choice. Eric learned how to add to the calendar with his voice, and that capability made adding to his calendar even easier and more fun. Eric had a big smile on his face when uh, the dental assistant handed him a card for his next appointment. Eric whipped out his phone and said, Okay, Google, add dental appointment to my calendar December 19th at 2 p.m. As he put his phone back in his pocket, the dental assistant couldn't help but be impressed. No longer did the Bailey family need those little cards magnetized to the refrigerator. They faithfully used their calendars. Eric added practices and games and concerts. The symphonic band Trumpets had after-school sectional rehearsals every Tuesday afternoon. Eric added the event once and clicked on it to repeat every week at the same time. He put his parents' birthdays and their anniversary on his calendar and made those repeating annual events. Like his mother, Eric found that he could make an event private and it not show up on his parents' calendars. Suddenly, forgetful Eric was remembering those special days. William and Maria were wondering what happened to this boy of theirs. Eric added school projects, church events, and major tests. Nightly interrogations from mom and dad became a thing of the past. The conversation now at family mealtime became less about the mechanics of events and more about the successes of the day. That phone Eric got for his birthday was now beginning to earn its keep. William and Maria felt Cindy was a little young to manage her own events, so William went to his Google Calendar and created one more, an orange calendar for Cindy, her favorite color. He shared the calendar with Maria and gave her edit rights. He also created a brown-colored calendar for two-year-old Bobby. Mother and father could each see every family member's calendar and turn events on and off. They could see the calendar displayed as a month, a week, or a day with just the touch of one key, and they could see the calendar from their desktop computer, laptop, tablet, or phone. Things were getting easier by the day. So here's a question. Who's driving the Bailey bus? Knowing what each child was supposed to be doing simplified life for William and Maria, but one question mark remained. Who would provide transportation for each child? Well, Eric was old enough to arrange transportation and notify the appropriate people. So if he was riding his bike or riding with a friend to band practice, well, he was responsible for updating his appointment in his Google Calendar to reflect that. But as for Cindy and Bobby, they were a little young, so if Maria was responsible for transportation, she would click on the appropriate appointment, change the calendar for that event to her own, and save. 
William would do likewise. That way it was easy to see who was responsible for transportation because that calendar event now belonged to that person. But if an upcoming appointment was still showing in Cindy's color, orange, or Bobby's color, brown, that meant William and Maria had a decision to make. Who would provide transportation? And when you really use your calendar correctly, notifications can be a blessing. William asked, Maria, when I look at your calendar, I see your events, but I find myself looking weeks into the future to see what you've added that's new. Is there any way that when you add something to your calendar, you could tell me or email me or something? Well, Maria did a little research and came up with an answer. She had William go into the settings for each calendar and look for other notifications. Here, William could choose to get an email when an event was added, changed, or canceled from that calendar. Maria did the same for the calendars shared with her. So as soon as Eric added an extra band practice to his calendar, both William and Maria got an email. And when William's evening graduate class was moved an hour later, as soon as he made the change on his calendar, Maria received an email. And speaking of notifications, William, Maria, and Eric began to reap another benefit. Fifteen minutes before any calendar event, the phone would vibrate and an audible reminder would sound. In the Bailey household, forgetting became a thing of the past. Maybe this year would be different. The refrigerator has an important job. It keeps food cold and it does an incredible job of it. But when it comes to helping us keep up with our schedules, we need something more. This school year, let Google Calendar help the entire family get on the same page. If you've stayed with me to this point in the video, it probably means you have a vested interest in helping some young person be successful in school. Well, I have a series of posts that I wrote on managing school the easy way. Each has a video and a podcast embedded. Come over to frankbuck.org to the companion blog post, and you'll see links to each of those. And if you like the story of William and Maria, there's so much more where that came from. Get Organized Digitally is filled with stories just like this. Stories of people just like you and me who learn how to leverage technology to make life easier. In the show notes, you're going to see a link where you can order that book today. And one more thing, if you like this video, Take a look at these two videos right over here. I bet you'll like those as well. And consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.